You wanna know what one of the single biggest indicators is of someone who's finally begun to become their most authentic self and live in a sense of flow and who they really are? Yes, they have more joy, greater sense of purpose, greater sense of power, greater sense of knowing their direction in life, greater clarity. They have a sense of lightness because all that pain, the crud, the fears and bullshit beliefs they're taught about themselves are now out of that big burlap bag on their back. They're not carrying around 500 fucking pounds of that shit on their back. Now, one of the greatest indicators though is that they catch it sooner. What do they catch sooner? They catch when something's going south. They catch, they listen to their own fucking pulse and something feels off. And so they don't go all the way down the road of that relationship with family, friend, or a lover. No, they catch it sooner because they've gone down that road enough times of not trusting their own voice. They know when shit's gonna go fucking south and turn into a clusterfuck and they trust their own voice sooner. Because before, they would listen to everyone else's voice. They were taught growing up, don't listen to your own self, listen to everyone fucking else. And they did that and it turned into a total shit show of their life. They catch it sooner. Here's the thing, unhealthy people, come in twos so if you've got a shitty person in your life it's because you haven't caught it yet and you're allowing it healthy people don't allow unhealthy people in their lives and they surely don't stay in relationships with unhealthy people now I'm not fucking blaming the victim what I'm saying is only one person has the power to change your situation in life and it's not the person who's abusing you or the narcissist or the fucking taker it's you have the power to change it and only you a taker's not gonna fucking change. A narcissist isn't gonna change. Why the fuck would they change? They're getting everything right now. So you keep trying to change them to love you. You have to change you. You have to get out of that fucking relationship, first of all. Get some counseling, you know, fucking journaling. Get my books, my video courses. That shit is there to help you heal you. And once you begin to fucking heal you, everything changes. You no longer go down that road further with someone who you know is hurtful. Whether it's a family, a friend, or a lover, colleague. You don't do it. Why? You catch it sooner because you're tuned into your own voice. Your intuition becomes much stronger and you trust it. You act on it rather than doubting your internal voice and listening to those external voices. Does this make sense? So my question to you is, what is this? See, you have to understand before I get to the question is, the struggle, the pain, all the horseshit relationships you're in, those are indicators you are not in tune to your own voice because your voice has been screaming for fucking years. Don't Stay in this relationship with this person. Don't go down this path with your life. This career path isn't what you fucking want, but you've been taught to distrust your own voice. So my question to you is simply, when are you gonna begin to listen to your own voice and trust it and catch those indicators sooner, that ping on the sonar coming up from within you saying, don't go down this path. You know it's gonna turn into a clusterfuck. When do you begin to listen to your own fucking voice? That's where life is. That's where happiness is and lighter, lightness and greater energy and a sense of purpose and clarity in life. That's where it is. Have a kick-ass day.